Put your sign down, please. Well, so you think I sign away from the lady? Oh boy, oh boy. You are so far out of it, buddy. You're going to start arresting people for saying, expressing their opinions. Oh my God. Did you uh? Are you going to carry that in the side, Mary? The layup for your I don't. I can't strongly urge the committee enough to provide this for us, to give us seniors in Marstown a choice. You're talking about clear cutting 40 acres of land. Clear cutting uh, on a slope, which has all sorts of environmental impact uh, on it. And number two, uh, they're going to put 40 single-family cottages there and a four-story apartment building housing 337 individuals plus nursing beds and uh, skilled nursing beds. We plan it in such a way as to be in keeping with McGreevy Smart Growth Plans and uh, frankly Smart Growth Initiatives that are being put forth by every environmental organization around the state and the country, so we feel good about it. Documentary for ending no comment. One of the facts is the National Park Service considers the proposed ordinance largely incompatible with the long-standing vision of Morris Township. The express mission of the park and may permanently impair the resources of Jockey Hollow. This proposed ordinance <laughs> constitutes a violation of the Establishment Clause of the United States Constitution. I believe the Planning Board has done a good job in protecting the integrity of our community while approving a plan that also a land that allows the private landowner to meet their needs and to follow their dreams. This is probably the clearest example of what attorneys refer to as spot zoning. New Jersey Audubon Society opposes the proposed zoning changes People who have benefited for years from the Abbey's careful stewardship now vilify the monks for exercising the same right that every other resident has, the right to use the property. We wouldn't be here tonight if the developer was Toll Brothers or Hovnanian. I think this town would turn them down flat. The New Jersey State Committee of the Coalition voted to recommend that Morris Township reject the proposed rezoning of the Del Barton track to permit its use for a continuing care retirement community. The environmentalists, and this dumbfounds me, feel that a batch of septic tanks uh, in this entire area is less environmentally uh, destructive than a sanitary sewer. As with highways, so with sewers. If you build it, sprawl will follow. The Connecticut-based development, Retirement Living Services, how much do they care about Washington Valley? <laughs> I mean, they don't live there. We do. It, the bottom line is a dollar with them and the maximum profit per acre. That's what this is about. It's all about the money. And, you know, destruction of the environment, ruining the area, they could care a flip or rat's ass about that. Del Barnes' right to develop their property has not been denied. It is still an option. It is an option that exists without rezoning. I believe that everyone has the right to develop his or her property. I believe that the monks, like everyone else, are entitled to the full development of their property, but only A, within the law, B, within the scope of previous agreements, C, with respect for the community and their neighbors, and D, without placing a burden on the township or township residents. This plan that they have submitted does not warrant rezoning. It does not adhere to these criteria. I have great admiration and respect for the monks in Del Barton School. They have provided education to generations of our Morris Township residents and have been lionized for the very high standards they have always maintained and imparted to their students. But this undertaking is wrong for their part, property. It is wrong for the area. It is wrong for us to renege on agreements that were forged with the trust and confidence of our citizens that we would keep our word. 
It is wrong to take money with a promise to maintain the current density and then spot zone an outrageous proposal, which is the complete antithesis of everything we pledge not to permit. This is not about nimbyism. It's not about environmental maybes. It is about land use. It is about honoring agreements. It is about preserving and protecting our township. It is about doing the right thing. It is about neighbors and their rights. It is about a priceless national, national park and a sublimely beautiful area of Morris County that we are lucky enough to have as a part of our township and our heritage. If you believe that either you or your loved ones or your friends or even some people in the audience should have the right to live in dignity in their senior years of the quality of life that they richly deserve, you should approve this amendment. Most recent has been a raft of misleading statements put forth by the Great Swamp Watershed Association. In a mailing to township residents last week from its office in New Vernon, the document begins by dramatically misstating several figures in an apparent effort to mislead the public. Think about what you're really doing here in terms of preserving these monks and their lives and their, if, their ethos, their mission, and the needs of your fellow citizens who are just as entitled to decent housing at, at certain ages in their lives as younger people are who live in affluence. Thank you.